she's asking me a bunch of questions like one through 10. How would you rate yourself with this? How would you rate yourself with that? And, you know, I, I was pretty honest, but I felt really confident because a lot of the things that she did ask was stuff that was inside of your course and everything. I think they asked, like, are you familiar with Azure? And I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I've, I've worked inside of Azure already. I was super skeptical at first <laughs> uh, because I had bought into a course for something else uh, in terms of like personal training. Um, and it just wasn't what I expected it to be, you know, and I saw this and I had to like really vet it um, And I had been watching her channel for like the past two years three years um, So I was like, yeah, this guy puts out really good information I'll be interviewing a gentleman who went through my cybersecurity course named Oscar Penaloza He went from absolute no IT background as a personal trainer into a junior SOC analyst position he did a really good job preparing technically and preparing for his interview, and he has a lot of good insights that I think will help a lot of people. On to the interview. Hey everybody, uh, Josh here. I'm here with Oscar Penaloza. He went through the cybersecurity course and probably did a bunch of other things, which we'll find out soon. Uh, he landed a job. Um, he agreed to come on and kind of talk about his experience with us. Uh, so thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, do you mind giving like a like a brief introduction to yourself and um, what were you doing before you got this job? Yeah, uh, so before this, uh, I was actually a personal trainer um, for a little bit. Uh, that's kind of a long story. Um, I kind of got into it in a very, um, I guess, like not good time. Uh, I got into it right before COVID happened. So oh, um, like literally, yeah, literally like my first job that I had, uh, I started for a couple months and, you know, massive layoffs, you know, everything was just shut down. Um, after that, I was pretty much just uh, contracting, you know, just kind of finding uh, gigs here and there, you know, training people and stuff. Uh, and up until last year, um, well, a little bit of, of this year, like beginning of this year, um, I was still doing personal training, but just, you know, with layoffs happening everywhere, people losing their jobs, you know, uh, business just started to go down a lot. Um, and actually mm -hmm. this past year was like my lowest year in terms of income. Um, so, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I wanted to get into it for a while now. I actually want to get into it since like 2021, 2022. Um, and I let my, I let someone talk me out of it. Uh, so I, I would have been so much further, uh, if oh, I would have started back then. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, but that's that's cool. You into you're doing personal training. I just got back from the gym. I went to Gold's Gym in Osaka, Japan. Oh wow! Oh, you're in Japan. Yeah, yeah. It's like seven a.m. here. <laughs> that's oh wow. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Do you do you still kind of look, this? Sorry, this is like off topic. Do you still like low key do like yeah. some personal training on the side, or you, do you just like work out? Or um, there's one guy that I'm I'm still seeing, uh, but. I, I really only see him because he's in IT, uh, so we mm. talk a lot about that. Um, and he's kind of like a mentor in a way. Uh, oh, nice. So I decided, you know, yeah, I decided to like just keep working with him. Uh, I only see him once a week, so it's not like a big deal. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, uh, it's just IT all the way right now. Gotcha. Cool, cool. So um, what's your, oh, did you start your new job yet or you, you haven't started working yet? Yeah. So, um, like I was saying, uh, the PC technician job, uh, that was a part-time job. Uh, I accepted that, uh, but then I got that other job offer. Um, this week I make my fourth week in this new position. Um, so, you know, month in, so still brand new. Gotcha. Gotcha. And then do you, can you talk about like what your official title is and then maybe some of your day-to-day -day activities for the viewers? Yeah. Um, so official title is IT support analyst, um, mm -hmm. completely different than what was on the job listing. It was like a, a lot, uh, I forgot what it was. It was like information technology, uh, desktop support analyst, uh, but they just okay. shortened it to IT, IT support analyst. Um, cool. as far as like day to day, uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much help desk stuff. Uh, you know, people submit tickets. It could be like a printer issue. Uh, it could be like a computer issue. Um, we work a lot with uh, like Microsoft Office 365. Um, mm -hmm. We have that. We work with uh, Google, uh, Google Workspace. Uh, so those, I guess, are like the big, uh, uh, like 
environments that I guess that we deal with. Um, I'm I'm pretty much the bottom of of like the team. My team is really small, so uh, without like you know giving much too much information. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a very very small team, so we communicate uh, literally in one single room. Um, okay. So you know, if I have a question, you know, the system administrator is right next to me. Uh, my manager is oh, nice. like in front of him, and then network engineer is like right next to him. Um, so like oh, that's yeah, kind of nice. Communicate. Yeah, yeah. So it's like they they're basically mentoring me. They're teaching me like a bunch of stuff. Um, and yeah, like it's it's pretty crazy that I've even landed this position, honestly. That's no, that's cool. Um, were you like nervous when you started? Like, oh, well, like what if I don't know how to do something? And like, how did that end up uh, working out? Yeah, no, I mean, I still feel that. <laughs> I still feel that now. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I um, I guess like in the interview process, especially. Um, I guess you know I'll talk I'll talk a little bit about like my interview process. Um, so mm. initially they reached out, you know, uh, a phone screening, um, just out of the blue, they just called me and I didn't know, I didn't know, I don't recognize number. And I usually don't like to, uh, pick up, uh, calls from random phone numbers, but for whatever reason, I, I picked up this call and, uh, actually no, no, I didn't. Uh, they left a voicemail and I called him back and like, <laughs> yeah, so that's how, that, yeah, that's how that happened. Um, mm. so I talk, uh, to the HR, I guess, recruiter, um, and she's asking me a bunch of questions. She's like, hey, you know, we saw your, your uh, application uh, and we wanted to basically just do a quick 15 minute phone screen. Is that OK? And I was like, oh, yeah, that's fine. So she's asking me a bunch of questions like one through 10. How would you rate yourself with this? How would you rate yourself with that? Um, and, you know, I, I was pretty honest, uh, but I felt really confident because a lot of the things that she did ask was stuff that was inside of um, your course and everything. Um, oh, wow. You know, really? I, I think they ask. Yeah. I think they asked, like, uh, are you familiar with, like, Azure? And I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I've, I've worked inside of Azure already. Um, oh, wow. And it was pretty cool because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I was uh, I was super skeptical at first <laughs> uh, <laughs> because I had bought into a course um, for something else uh, in mm -hmm. terms of, like, personal training. Um, and it just wasn't what I expected it to be, you know, um, Okay. And I saw this and I had to like really vet it. Um, and I had been watching her channel for like the past two years, three years. Um, so I was like, yeah, this guy puts out really good information. I'm just curious, like, how did you vet the course? Because I always wonder, like, um, what people do to make sure that's legit before buying it. So, like, what, did you, what was your process for that? Yeah. Um, I guess it was just uh, going through like course careers, I think, at the time um mm. just going on reddit you know that's that's pretty much like my go-to uh, okay and and i would watch like the videos yeah um i think some people posted on reddit like you know this is actually good or um some people like to be really pessimistic uh and it's kind mm. of like what you make out of it you know mm -hmm. um and for the price and everything i was like yeah this is like a no-brainer you know like if it's gonna help me land a job like it's gonna pay for itself you know well, thanks. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you think so. I, I sometimes Google like Josh Matacor scam <laughs> to see like what comes out yeah. to make sure, you know, um, but that's good. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad that you're able to, you know, I was, I was approved by Reddit, but so like, <laughs> how, how do you feel like, um, uh, after starting your new job, do you feel like kind of a, a new level of stress from like the IT stress or, do you feel better or like what, what's your life like, I guess now? Um, I mean, I feel good. I like the place that I work in. Um, really good people. I lucked out honestly in, in every aspect. Um, because I have no experience. I have no certs. Uh, mm. and the way I would, the way even my manager like positioned it to it, you know, he's like, um, uh, this is basically like it support, but you're also going to be doing, be doing a little bit of networking. Um, you're also going to be working a little bit like cybersecurity. Um, so you're wearing a bunch of hats cause it's literally just, you know, our, our small team. Um, and we all communicate with each other. Um, but of course, you know, everyone has kind of the things that they do. Um, I'm kind of more the one that like gets rid of like the, the small things. Like if someone's printer's not working, like, Hey, can you go check the printer? Like, um, cause they have, you know, other things they have to deal with, um, inside of like, you know, the environment and everything. Um, 
but it's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, I wear a lot of hats. So honestly, if I had to like put a title to it, it'd be like IT support analyst slash like uh, junior sock and then like junior sys admin. Um, oh, wow. uh, yeah, you do a, lo- a little bit of everything. That's that's really good, actually, especially you guys are in the same room and then you, you can hear yeah. them talking about stuff, too. And you can probably like mm-hmm. do a lot of stuff eventually if you want to, which is really, really useful, I think. Yeah, um, I've already had conversations with my manager um, and he's like, yeah, I, I want to put you in this position um, above what you're already doing now. Um, you know, like not only will it alleviate uh, work from them. Um, but it'll, it'll also help me like level up and like get new skills, get new credentials, mm. um, all internally, like, you know, with the company I'm already with, like, I don't have to leave and go anywhere else. This, I'm, I'm really happy for you. It <laughs> sounds like a nice role to be honest. Yeah. It's crazy. Can I ask like, um, how many applications did you have to submit? Do you remember? Um, yeah, I submitted a bunch, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess like, yeah. If uh, if I had to put a number on it, I want to say like honestly not that much compared to like other people, um, but mm. somewhere around two hundred in total. Um, but that was okay. like in a span of like one or two months. Okay, okay, that's not that's not too bad. That's not too bad compared to some people, but it's like a decent yeah. chunk anyway. You know, for the interview process, you said you had like a phone screen. Did you have like a a bunch more like interviews with the team after that, or what was your experience like? Yeah, um, so the the phone screen was pretty short. Um, it was just like fifteen minutes. Uh, after that, I went in for an in person interview. Um, I really didn't know what to expect going in. Um, I thought it was going to be a one on one interview. Uh, find out mm-hmm. when I get there. It's two people. It'll be HR and the IT manager, and then. Mm-hmm you know, IT manager shows up and he's like, hey, we're actually going to have our director of operations come in and just sit in for the interview. So I'm sitting mm-hmm. in front of like three senior people and, yeah. you know, I have to keep my calm, you know. Yeah, he must have done a good job though. So good good work. Yeah, um, I was, I was, you know, I, I like to just change my perspective and say I just was really excited to be there. Um, mm. But yeah, having three people of that kind of like seniority, like it's it was pretty intimidating. Yeah, I I know exactly what you mean. Those pa- panel interview is nerve wracking, and it makes it hard to think, even if you like prepared for it. All your like, yeah, I don't know. For for me, my IQ go down by like fifty percent in those situations. It's like quite hard. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, can you give? Um, a ballpark for the salary or like what was on the job listing or like a general like number something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so job listing, it was 48 K. Um, yeah, pretty much it. I didn't negotiate or anything because, uh, it was already a really, really good offer. Um, Mm -hmm. the interview process went really well. Uh, I felt like, you know, there was already some sort of like chemistry with the, um, the IT manager because, you know, he comes in, he starts talking, you know, to me, he introduces himself. uh, And we get to the point in in, in the interview where they're like, are you working on any projects? Are you working on any certifications? And I was like, actually, Mm. um, and I guess this is another part I forgot to like add. Um, Mm -hmm. I was like, actually, I I just completed a project, um, a cybersecurity project. And I, I, I I didn't have it on my resume when I initially applied. So I was like, oh, this is my opportunity to really just, you know, go off and uh-huh. say everything that I worked on. Yeah. Do you, you tell them about the whole, like, uh, the honey net and, like, the sim and all those and Sentinel and stuff? The HR manager, she didn't really know what I was, like, talking about. Uh, so mm-hmm. whenever I brought up, like, NIST 853, uh, Azure, you know, Microsoft Sentinel, you know, a sim, uh, she just kind of, like, you know, dozed off. Uh, but the IT manager was like, oh, okay, you know, we have a, we have a, an Azure tenant here. Um, so that's really interesting that, you know, that you've worked with that because that's basically kind of like what our environment is. Um, so I was like, yeah, I mean, um, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. And I started talking about, you know, this was right whenever the CSF 2.0 came out. 
I brought that up and I was like, hey, did you see like um, the cybersecurity framework 2.0 just came out? And he's like, oh yeah, um, I'm having to, you know, do a lot of changes uh, in the environment. Um, so it's a, a pain in the butt. Uh, but, it, you know, just little things like that, um, kind of like from my perspective, I felt like got his attention because, you know, you have a guy who has no experience, but he's already like talking about cybersecurity frameworks and like Azure and like, you know, all the cloud and all these things. Like that just shows that yeah. you're caught up to everything and like you're really interested. Yeah, it really convey passion, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I was just about to ask like, what part of the course was most helpful, but it's, you kind of just told me already, but I'll, I'll ask anyway, like for anyone watching, like, is yeah. there a part of the course that you recommend people to like really pay attention to? Yeah. Um, honestly, just all of it, because, you know, you're going to take something away from it. Um, you know, it could be just Azure itself, you know, just being able to talk about that platform. Um, it could be the protocols, the, you know, the different cybersecurity frameworks like NIST 800 um, or, you know, the CSF framework. Um, just being able to talk about the different tools that you've used um, or the different, I guess, like uh, rule sets that, you know, that you've been implementing. Um, that just really helps make you more confident whenever someone asks you um, about that. And that comes from someone who has like no experience. So, um um, there's probably so much to it that I even, you know, I haven't gotten into just yet. I'm barely like touching the surface of it. Yeah. I feel like you, you know, more than probably a decent chunk of people who are like already working in cybersecurity. Um, and they're Maybe. probably surprised by that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's funny. Actually. Um, that guy that I work with, the, the, the guy that I train, um, I talked about the project and I talked about how, you know, I was working inside of Azure, you know, working in with uh, Microsoft Sentinel and this dude has been working in IT for like 20 years and he's like, well, you know, more than me. And I've been in it for like the past 20 years. So I was surprised. Yeah, yeah that's, that's yeah. funny. They were probably like, oh, this, well, this guy, this is such a good deal. And they tried to swoop you up right away. They're probably really happy with their hire. I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I was, I was, that, that's another thing. Um, uh, some of the questions that I asked were like um, timeline questions. So whenever I got off the initial phone screen, um, I asked them, you know, how soon can I expect to hear back from you? So I would know like, okay, you know, they're going to call me back on Friday. Um, and then whenever I had the in-person interview, um, that was one of my follow-up questions. Whenever they asked, like, do you have any questions for us? Um, I asked, you know, when can I expect to hear back uh, for a decision? And, you know, it's kind of nerve wracking because you, the day is coming up and you're like, ah, do I get it? Do I not get it? Do I get it? Do I not get it? Um, but yeah, they reached out and they were really happy. Um, and nice. yeah, they, they, they really liked, um, just like my presentation, I guess, uh, like the director of operations, uh, I guess like one of the things he, he, he even tells me now when I'm there, he's like, you're very poised. And I like that about you. Like that's, that's something that we noticed like right off the bat. Um, so I guess like, as far as like interviewing goes, um, mm -hmm. just have a good presence, uh, mm -hmm. and like be interested in, in learning more, but be, be present and present yourself in a good manner because like you're being judged like from the initial time or you're, you're when you walk in through the door. Right. And that's like really big. Um, I had that in the back of my head. I'm like, I have to be 100% like, you know, I, I don't want to miss this opportunity. Yeah. As good as you can be. Um, just, I, I was going to say, I, you, you seem really squared away to me and you actually speak really well. I really pay attention to that because of YouTube and they, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. And then did you do like outside of the course, did you do anything else specifically to like prepare for the technical side or prepare for the interview or like what, what else did you do that someone might find helpful? Yeah. Um, you know, I have friends who I like try to convert into it cause they're kind of like me, um, with personal training, it was just kind of like a thing that I started out of high school because I really didn't know what else I wanted to get into. Um, and with it, you know, it's something I was interested in. Um, I wouldn't say it's my passion. I'm passionate about learning cause I like learning, um, which I think is like probably more important, um, because if you're not 
enjoying the process of learning, you know, you're just going to be struggling the entire way. Um, mm. But in terms of like getting getting ready, yeah, I was just trying to, you know, start with the foundations. Um, I had to do a lot of research. Uh, you know, I remember like two years ago, I asked my friend, like, what do you think about the CCNA? And like, I knew nothing about like IT. Um, so <laughs> to get into IT, like straight to the CCNA, is, you know, it's a big, it's a big jump. Um, mm. so one of the things I did was, you know, try to study up for like the A plus, um, you know, that was like the first fundamental thing. Um, and, you know, watch professor Messer videos, um, you know, cause that's a free resource and that's basically takes you through the entire thing. Um, I actually have my test tomorrow, uh, for the core one. Oh, nice. Um, oh, okay. yeah. Uh, so yeah, just watching those videos, um, and just being dedicated to it, you know, like, uh, when I told myself last year, like, you know, if you get into IT, like you have to pursue it 100%. Like you can't just like mess around, you know, cause then you're just, you're just going to be wasting time. Um, so I started watching those videos, you know, it took me like two weeks just cause I was watching at one time speed and he talks pretty slowly. Uh, <laughs> literally like, um, new years, I was going through the security plus and, you know, 12 hits, you know, 2024 and I'm, in my computer watching security plus videos from professor messer uh and like that's the kind of like level of dedication that i was putting into this um gotcha gotcha yeah that i'm sure that helped a lot um and yeah. i agree with you 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 have to like go like kind like my friends who want to get into it um I usually tell them to try to study like at least like three to four hours per day. Four is like kind of like max for human. You start like your brain dies kind of after that. Mm -hmm. But I, I say like, yeah, mm -hmm. you have to go like kind of hard because you can get results like pretty, pretty fast. Mm -hmm. If you like put in, put in a lot of work. Um, yeah. Do you have any like, um, final advice for people watching like any mindset advice or any kind of, you know, last thing you want to let them know yeah i i mean i kind of touched on it a little bit it's just you know if you're going to get into it make sure you know it doesn't have to completely take over your life but be serious about it um even just coming from like personal training you see it a lot people want to start like a new lifestyle and they just don't take it seriously or they don't put enough effort into it um and i feel like that might be the case with people who might be wanting to get in get into it like the idea sounds nice, but then you actually have to work and study and like, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of effort. Um, and it's just like anything else, you know, it, it's going to take some time. It's going to take effort. Um, and you're going to have to go through that process either way. So, you know, um, if you really want to do it, like the time is going to pass anyway. So like, why not? You know, um, that's good. And, <laughs> uh, I guess also like, um, just being open to learning more. Um, you know, I think some people like, you know, I've, I've read, I've read stuff, I've watched videos, you know, they say, don't get into IT if you're not passionate about it. Um, like I said, it's not my passion, but I like learning. I, I genuinely enjoy like learning everything that, um, I'm, I'm looking at. And I think that's enough. You know, if you're someone who genuinely likes to learn, um, I think that's probably more important than like being passionate about it. Because if you have passion, but you're not interested, um, you're going to mm. just, burn out quickly but if you you know watch some videos and you start learning like you know security concepts or hardware concepts or networking concepts and you're like oh that's how that works that's pretty cool like let me let me learn the next thing like so i can you know improve then you're gonna have a way better time yeah i agree i think that's really good advice and i think this interview really gonna help people um you have a lot of good perspectives and I pretty much agree with everything you say in terms of execution and discipline and interest and all that so yeah it's really good thank you so much could i add one more thing yeah yeah uh if 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 you know there are other people out there like me who like have no experience um you talk about it with your pillars um just maxing out yourself because you know you could you could be someone who's super technical, you know, everything, but if you're not pleasant to be around or you don't present yourself, um, in a good manner or a professional manner, or, you know, worst case scenario, just neutral, you know, 
it doesn't matter how good you are at whatever you do, no one is going to want to hire you, you know? So, you know, just be a pleasant person, um, treat people with kindness, uh, smile wherever you go, shake people's hands, you know, just have genuine, like, connection with people and just good manners. And, like, that'll take you a long way. Like, you'd be surprised. Yeah, that's that's super, super super true and when i see like uh, people posting on reddit like i applied to like 800 jobs and i whatever i can't like pass my interview or something like this because you you don't actually they're like i have a master's degree but you don't actually know like what they're doing when they show up to their interview right they could they could have like a, a bad attitude or they whatever they could just be rubbing the person the wrong way or and then you could have somebody who doesn't have credentials and then like gets hired right um because they were they were squared away all right. So that is like, yeah, that's super important. I'm glad you bring this up. Yeah, that that's actually um, for the application process. That was a disqualification for um, a lot of people. When I was talking to like the HR recruiter, um, she mm -hmm. told me, you know, I, I was genuinely curious because like I said, like I'm very lucky to have been brought into this position. Um, so I asked, you know, like, why did you decide to go with me? And it was, it's, it's such a funny, uh, funny answer. Uh, she was like, you were pleasant to talk to over the phone and mm -hmm. everyone else, like she would talk to them and she said, yeah, they weren't pleasant to talk to. So we just ruled them out. And damn, I was like, wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Damn. That is, that is crazy. But I can, I can see it probably like extrapolate what the people are going to be like in the actual workplace. Yeah. Yeah. Well, cool. Um, really pleasant having you on. Um, do you have yeah. any like Thank socials? You. you. Oh yeah, no problem. Do you have any like socials? Like you were doing personal training. Do you have like an Instagram or LinkedIn? Mm -hmm. You want people to? I can put on the screen, or you can say. Yeah. Um, I guess you know just my LinkedIn. Um, it's just my name, Oscar Penaloza. Um, I'm still in school right now. I'm going through WGU, uh, doing all the certs, you know, all the classes. Um, so yeah, if someone wants to like get a little bit more advice or, you know, kind of get a better, uh, perspective from me, then, you know, they can send me a message or something. Oh, that's nice. Thanks very much. <laughs> cool. <clears throat> all right. Uh, it was good having you on. Appreciate it.